My homily for the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the 14th of August, 2022. He's pulled down princes from their thrones and exalted the lowly. The hungry is filled with good things, the rich sent empty away. Revolutionary words, words that speak of the overthrow of the established order, words we generally prefer to ignore, but words given added force by the person who speaks them. Gentle Mary, the lowly handmaid, a young unmarried mother, and yet she speaks with power and conviction of the revolutionary ways of the Lord. Mary is the greatest human being that ever lived, apart from our God-man Jesus. But he could not have saved us without first becoming human and being born of a woman. Salvation came to us through Jesus Christ, but in order to save us, he first had to become human in the womb of a woman. So it is right we honour that woman who played such a key role in our salvation. And Mary was no mere vessel, no mere instrument. She actively participates in salvation history. For she is the model disciple, showing us the way to go, not serving self, but serving God. Later she appeared when Jesus was teaching, and Jesus reminded us that we too can be like Mary, his family, if we do the Father's will. She proclaims the greatness of the Lord, our Saviour, a merciful God, but one who has also routed the proud of heart. She reminds us that as Christians we are called to challenge those in power and to satisfy those in need. We should not accept the status quo when the status quo means injustice. It's good to say your prayers, but it is not enough. Mary went as quickly as she could when she heard that her cousin Elizabeth was pregnant. A long and dangerous journey through harsh terrain, but she did not hesitate. Wise old Elizabeth, together with her unborn child John the Baptist, greeted her with joy, recognising her as the mother of my Lord. Recognising her as a believer, one who believed, spoke and acted in harmony, the measure of the Christian. There's a saying, if it was a crime to be a Christian, would there be enough evidence to convict you? Something for us all to ponder.